You're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. Today, I am back with another liminal space video. And you may be seeing, are we in heaven right now? <laughs> you are seeing a bright white light on the screen. And for a very good reason. I'm going to be kicking off this video with actually my number one spot in uh, that I want to put. I'm going to be doing another top five liminal space. And this is actually number one. Where I'm at is actually underground uh, in the Stormwind Stockades. I am currently in the entrance and you can actually see the portal right here. So I am behind the portal in the Stormwind Stockades and I'll prove it to you right here. One of my favorite liminal spaces has to be this space right here. It is really awesome to see, but it is a absolute pain in the butt to get down here. Uh, and maybe I'll make a separate video tutorial on how to do that. Uh, it, it requires a little bit of patience and some flying around underground and some work. And there's a lot of steps to it. Uh, but yeah, this is one of my absolute favorite liminal spaces. It's just, just something so eerie about this place that uh, I love it so much that you know that going in here, you have the stockades. and But all the rooms are empty. They're just a bright, light, white, uh, white light. And uh, some of the torches are still going down here, as you can see. So you have the beginning area here, but this place is just absolutely fantastic. And I love coming down here, and it's very peaceful. You can hear the waterfall going from the Lion's Rest area. And if you actually just take a minute and... And just seeing everything for what it is, it's kind of creepy, <laughs> but kind of like that home feeling that you get. You're just hanging out. You know that you're supposed to be in a dungeon here, but there's nothing out here. And as you can actually see, uh, moving my camera around, you can kind of get a look underground of Stormwind here. But if we actually move forward this way, when we come in here, you can see that there's actually more outside the map and if you walk straight up you will hit an ent an dungeon portal entrance so do be careful there you'll hit the trigger but this is definitely my number one spot for the liminal space video today meaning this is my favorite of the video So another one of my favorite liminal spaces has to be from the Arcway in the Legion expansion, the dungeon. Over in the Suomar area, um, the Arcway has a very unique feel to it. It's basically just made of a bunch of Arcways or arches, and it's one big circle of a map. But over here in the Forgotten Library, there's a spot all the way down in the abyss here. It's pretty crazy is coming down here. You can hear just the music and the ambience down here, right? But it's just lonely. It's dark. It's just me lit up. I put a uh, soul's bonfire over here. I thought that looked pretty cool in the darkness. Right now, I currently have an inky black potion on, but if I take that off, this is what happens. 
just a space that's like the unknown. You can walk through these. But it's just a place that's just... I don't know. It just has like this feeling about it of like loneliness. And like you're trapped down at the bottom of a well or just a floor you can't get out of. But the music and everything just makes it feel crazy down here. This is definitely going to be number four on my list. And uh, this is another liminal space that I love. Alright, one of my other favorite liminal spaces in all of World of Warcraft has to be behind the Black Rock Depths portal in the Black Rock Depths dungeon. Where I'm currently at is actually right behind the portal here. Um, but I'm not in the regular Blackrock Deaths portal. I'm actually in the Dark Iron Dwarves starting area zone. And uh, I came in from over here. And I thought this would probably be the easiest. It wasn't easy to get back here. But I was able to do it with a little bit of trickery and OOB. Uh, the place is solid so you can walk around. But I just love this liminal space back here. You know, you... It's like going into the entrance of Black Rock Devs, but you know that you're not actually going anywhere. You're just back here. <laughs> Everything is walkable that I've found so far. And uh, what's funny is when I actually flew in here, I actually flew in here and I got stuck under here. So it kind of worked out perfectly. And then I just jumped up through the, uh, the gateway here. But this is such an awesome place. It has a cool vibe to it. If you love Black Rock Devs and Molten Core and... You just love the uh, Searing George and Black Rock Mountain. This is a really awesome place. I really highly recommend you guys come check this out. Uh, come check out the entrance portal. It's just a great liminal space and it has a really awesome atmosphere behind it. You know, for being such an one of the original dungeons in the game and classic, uh, <laughs> they did a really great job behind the portal here of the smoke and mirrors to mask like you're actually you just came from over here and um i don't know i just thought blizzard did a great job with it so if you guys ever get a chance definitely come check this out it's pretty awesome uh once you get in here though good luck getting out it should be pretty simple you should be able to just grow yourself and make a uh dark moon seesaw or sandbox storm griffin use the bike out drinking horn and just get up somewhere between a wedge space and you should be able to get out pretty easily uh, but yeah, this is a one of my definitely one of my favorite liminal spaces in the game. All right, guys, we are back again in the Ruby life pools. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get behind the portal here, and this is going to be an awesome one. Uh, I haven't done a video on this place yet. I'm definitely going to be doing it on the future um, in my normal OB videos. But I want to show you guys a quote unquote huge and a lot bigger liminal space than you're normally uh, used to in my videos here. Uh, where I'm currently at is the Ruby Life Pools dungeon in the Walking Shores, or sorry, the Waking Shores, my bad, in the Dragon Isles. And um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get behind the portal entrance. Uh, it's pretty simple, not too hard Alex to pull off. Us with I will be honest with you guys. Uh, it took us a, a, me a minute to find this out because um, we had, um, I had initially came here with a bunch of OB friends. A long time ago and we could not for the life of us find a way out of this place 
We're going to have to be careful. We don't want to pull this elite over here or he will try to kill us. Uh, we are up above, so we should be okay. Um, where we want to get to is, I believe, if I remember correctly, right over here. And this should allow us to break out once we stand up. And I think it's just, you just like, you pop out just enough. So we're going to use our Storm Griffin right here, I believe. And then we're going to Valkai Drinking Horn up. Yep, there we go. And then we should just pop through the wall here. Um, if I remember correctly, we can aim towards the ridge over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out here and just a heads up, you may DC out here. So be careful. And there we go. We're already basically out of the dungeon. So we can just walk straight up here and get out into uh, Valdraken or sorry, Valdraken, the Dragon Isles. <laughs> uh, what's also awesome about this OOB in this place is the whole entirety of the Dragon Isles is here. So feel free to explore and you can actually fly out here as well. Um, so if you get to a certain spot, if I remember where to go here, the only thing is we need to turn off dragon riding. So we're going to have to switch back to our other normal flight status. We can't dragon ride here, unfortunately, but what we can do is we can fly. So once you get out here, there you go. You can fly outside of this OOB and feel free to explore wherever you want on the dragon house now without enemies. So, um, I haven't done an actual video on this place. Like I said, it's going to be coming in the future, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have fun with this one and do be careful flying over here as I know there is known death walls all around the dungeon that we have experienced. So do be careful going back towards the dungeon. Um, I would say stick to the outside. Also, when you're out here, I would bring some sort of potion like the stinky bright potion, for instance. And that way you can see where you're going. It clears up the fog of war as well. Uh, and that way it just makes it bright again. So, yeah, guys, have fun with this one.